Number 30 It seems these poltergeists have left their group projects until the last minute. Published by Amar Ajola in September of 2014, this scary video caught some paranormal activity in a computer lab. In Delhi's Karkardoma Court, the footage shows a man sitting in a computer lab. He appears to be waiting to capture some strange activity on his camera, and then it happens. One computer monitor turns on, after another, after another. They each turn on in their own time across the lab. No one else is in the room, so the mysterious behavior of the monitors is unnerving. Some think it's a prank used Using remote activation. Others think it's a ghost programmer needing to complete a project. Many note the orb activity in the video. Are these the entities that are present? It's certainly seeming that way to me. Number 29 Ryan Prunty is certain their estate is haunted. After this creepy experience in their attic happened, let's take a look at what he and his friend caught on tape and see if it's really paranormal. Stop, I think it's all good up here, dude. We're gonna explore a little further. No! No, 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 no. no. Bro, it's a lot. funny, Bailey. I'm not! Open the door, Bailey! Bailey, open the door. Look! What is that? It doesn't look like the door got stuck by itself. At 11 minutes and 34 seconds, the locking mechanism has been turned into a horizontal locked position. Someone, either a ghost or one of their roommates, must have been on the other side. They force open the door and less than a minute later, this mysterious orb guides them to another weird event. No one else is home and yet they see wet footprints outside of the shower that lead to nowhere. Maybe one of them showered and left, but I think most people would pick up the towel first. It's a creepy video, but all of these ghostly encounters would be easy to fake with the help of a third person. So I'm wondering if that's exactly what they did. Number 28 YouTuber Darklife says this was the worst EHF find he's ever discovered in an abandoned house. Dennis explains that he didn't bring his tent so he won't be spending the night. Ладно, пойду я дальше, не буду терять время. Сегодня я без палатки. Поэтому ночевать я здесь не буду оставаться. Later inside, a spirit confirms that she is there. Здесь кто-нибудь есть из мира мёртвых? The spirit says that she remembers her relatives. As Dennis is standing in the dark, he accidentally steps on a hornet's nest. Opa. He leaves a camera down there instead, so as not to be stung, but something spins his camera around. I don't know what did that, but it was not a hornet. Number 27 a place where children were used as objects of experimentation by a madman? How could this asylum not be haunted? YouTube team The Paranormal Patch visit the Desjarnet Children's Asylum, one of the worst in medical history. As they begin their investigation, they catch a disembodied voice on camera. They continue their search of the place, and around 3 a.m., the witching hour, they see a dark shadow. Deciding there's nothing there, they continue on. And while on an empty floor, Kaylee starts feeling scratches on her neck. Let's, let's look at it, because sometimes it'll get redder and redder. Where's it at? Point down. Is it red? 
That's where I felt it. There is a deep scratch on her neck, but as the team is worried about the spirits coming to haunt them, it's the living they should be worried about. So big wash hole. Round the event. Under thought. Alan. Please, sir. It's blowing up now. While Kaylee keeps insisting the noises are a bat, I'm pretty sure people are squatting in this place. Or maybe it's the madman, Dr. Desjarnet, coming for them. Either way, that genuinely freaked me out. Number 26. This resident is documenting their haunting, and it's about to get very real. Shared by YouTuber The Real Texas Ghost Hunters, this video's original source's YouTube channel, Sabia L. The resident starts singing to themselves to remain calm, but it doesn't help matters. The object continues to move but eventually slows to a stop after calming down. The sound starts up again. The poltergeist moves from the bedroom to the kitchen. There's nothing there that we can see at least. I don't know if this is real or not, but it absolutely terrifies me to my very core. I feel like we all need to check under our beds now. Number 25 Three friends are exploring an abandoned house and feel like it could be haunted because of how creepy it feels. They know there's a ghost in the hallway and they try to talk to it. If somebody's in here, say or do something. When nothing happens, they realize the house isn't haunted after all and start laughing at how they thought there was a ghost nearby. And that's when they get a real scare. <laughs> he scared you? <laughs> <laughs> As they run from the ghost in the hallway, one of them starts laughing and says, You did that to his friend. But his friend, the oldest of the group and bravest of all, sounds scared pale when he says, No, I swear. <laughs> We don't necessarily see anything, but there's no faking that level of fear, and so I believe this scary loud noise was caused by whatever paranormal presence they felt the need to summon and interact with. Number 24 Two friends unlock the door to an unfinished attic and step inside. Their single flashlight briefly shines across a mattress that nearly takes up the entire space. As they ponder what all of this means, a force pushes them over and the room goes dark. When the flashlight kicks back on, one of them gets off the ground on unsteady feet. What's wrong? What? Just, just go. Go? I think there is a possibility they could be acting. But then again, maybe a spirit is bound to the mattress and doesn't take kindly to intruders. Number 23 In an overnight stay at this haunted house, the resident of this house addresses the spirit that haunts the place. The YouTube team Paranormal Nightmare TV series is there to pay witness, and it's more like an interrogation than an interview. Does that mean a yes? Satanic. Oh. 
What do you mean, Santana? It seems like her and the spirits aren't getting along. Are you trying to come after me? Leave. I'm not leaving! This is my home! I live here now, not you! We'll see how that goes over with the ghost. Outside, the team feels its wrath. Oh, 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 oh. Me running. There was a huge fucking black shadow right next to the fucking window. I looked over and there was a huge fucking black shadow right there next to the fucking window. Here it is again from another angle. <laughs> and back inside, the spirit is spelling it out for them loud and clear. Dead. This is my place. This is not your home. This is mine. I don't think this ghost is going to leave their house. And it seems to me the message is it's willing to take the life of the home's resident over it. Number 22. If you didn't like going to school, this video will validate your feelings. Posted to YouTube by Alan Ubig in June of 2018, the uploader writes, The ghost of the Victoria School Lagoon was captured on CCTV yesterday at 9 a.m. A man is sweeping the floor, minding his own business, when about 10 feet away, two items which look like standing dustpans glide across the room, moving from one side of the path to the other. No one else is around. The strange thing is that the man cleaning just watches this happen, but doesn't react whatsoever. Maybe he's all too familiar with the Victoria School ghost. Who or what is playing here? Is it something that can be explained? Or is this school undoubtedly haunted? Number 21 This paranormal investigator regularly observes the Savannah Theater. This is one of the first videos Redditor Background Ad 6785 captured there. <sighs> Look how much it slows down. That's so insane. Wait, should Do you see the thing flying around? Look how much it slows down. Yeah. That's so insane. Why does it slow down so much? Some in the comments think it's dust or a moth. I do think both theories are likely, but I'd prefer to think there's something more mysterious happening at the Savannah Theater. Number 20. There's something inherently creepy about this abandoned building, but just wait until it breathes. YouTube channel Scary Punch shares this video whose original source is YouTuber Dark Ghost Paranormal. At first, nothing appears off. Я в этой комнате. Дай мне знак, если я в этой комнате. But then this happens. It looks like the room took a great breath in, drawing all the furniture to the center. Watch again. What just happened? I think a poltergeist is to blame, and this is one of the most powerful that I've ever seen. Number 19 I apologize for the poor quality of this video, but the backstory is too good to pass up. The Newcastle High School in Indiana received a notification from their security company that something weird was going on. So they looked at the CCTV videos to see exactly what the problem was. See here, the lights are off in the choir room. I'm actually freaking out right now. Too. The power goes out. Oh my gosh, okay. this is scaring me. So I'm thinking that the power going off is weird enough, but look what happens when it comes back on. The lights are on. What the? Do you see that? The light came off. I'm no electrician, but if the lights in the other room were off before the power outage, then they shouldn't come back on unless someone was in the room to mess with the switch. But as far as anyone knows, it was late at night and the school was empty, so I don't know how this could be. 
Number 18. YouTube team The New Reality Paranormal is investigating a haunted general store, and inside they hear and see some unexplained things. First, as they enter, footsteps are heard. Awesome. Said wait. It just said wave. And right after, a voice. Okay. Said rat. Yeah. You, you're now you're calling names or what? Resorting to calling people names. Was that a voice? What? The f that's a sort of that was a voice. Is somebody in here? It seems like it to me, especially after seeing this white orb drift past just as Sean says he's feeling nauseous. Like, I almost feel nauseous. Whoa. The back of my neck is... Oh, no, dude, 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 I am catching it on film right now. I think there's a reason Sean is queasy. A spirit just traveled straight through him. Number 17. According to Marisol Cole, this house was built in 1890 and abandoned for decades. She and her friend get a bad feeling as they head up the steps and feel an immense energy weighing them down. As they cross into the kitchen, they find this cold, unsmiling photograph that makes them gasp out loud. <laughs> Whoa. The woman's expression looks pained and worried as this man is across from her with a slight look of concern as well. Maybe it was just the style at the time to look serious during a photograph, or maybe something unspeakable happened here to make them look that way. When Marisol leaves, they are surprised to find the door instantly locked behind them, when there should have been no possible way, and when Marisol glances across the street for one last look, she captures this small, sullen face staring back at her in the window. A face which, even from a distance, passingly resembles the photograph of the man they found earlier. So did they move his picture to the window to fake this part? Or do you think it's possible they really saw him? I'm going with the latter. Number 16 Yes, poltergeists can be powerful, but this one is like its own microburst. Published by Find Ghost in August of 2021, this haunting footage was originally captured on a security camera in April of 2009, just after midnight. The footage shows an empty room with chairs stacked along one side. One chair is overturned in the middle of the room like it was flung there. And after seeing what happens next, perhaps it was, an object falls off a table, one of the stacked chairs wobbles back and forth, then all of a sudden all the chairs burst, as if flung forward simultaneously. A moment later, another invisible burst in the room sends all the objects flying momentarily into the air. In the last split second, everything flies sky high again. What is happening in this haunted room, and what will happen next? Number 15 A return to these haunted, hollowed-out buildings leads YouTuber Samal Shadow Hunter to the shadows. Here is one of them. Samal meets with a looming shadow figure on this path, and as he gets closer, it disappears. He continues his search around the compound and encounters another figure. Oh, we got. It's a day. It's a day. It's a day. As he watches the hooded being, it too disappears.
What is this figure? It is not actually a shadow, as we may have assumed. It's a being in a robe and a hood. Perhaps a demon? I don't know what it is, but to me, it looks like the shadow hunter is becoming the hunted. Number 14 a YouTube channel called BD Ghost Hunters sent me this video of a cursed village in their home country of Bangladesh. They don't explain how or why it became cursed. Nobody ever talks about that. All anyone says is that it was abandoned long ago and that the survivors had to move across water to get away. Everyone knows not to cross the bridge because strange and scary things are waiting on the other side. <laughs> but on this night, they want to find out what their elders won't tell them, and so they step forward. <laughs> There's movement in the distance, the figure of a person in the shadows, not an animal. They approach the old building and see no one is on the roof. <laughs> the BD ghost hunter team bravely goes upstairs to investigate the paranormal activity and that's when things get even more bizarre Not even Google is able to translate what they are saying, so translate this next part if possible. <laughs> I'm almost positive someone is holding the chair, but no one is there when they round the corner and it's still propped up at a weird angle. Anyway, that's weird, but when they reach the balcony, where the windows first open, they find nothing wrong with them. That's when they feel the curse grow stronger and turn around. <laughs> Do you want to get a mat? Do you want to get a mat? 
They follow the footsteps up the roof and find a door that's deadbolt locked on their side, meaning no one could have passed through. <laughs> They open a rusted door and don't find much activity at first, but that all changes soon enough. <laughs> A ghost slams shut the door while they are examining the object. They dare not go any further into this village and leave knowing nothing more about the place other than the legends are real. Do you believe them? I might. Number 13 a creepy figure was spotted at an old villa near a graveyard. Published by Scary and Mysterious Stuff in April of 2022, what would you do if you encountered this figure in the night? Walking past the graveyard, the cameraman enters the grounds of a villa that is said to have been abandoned two decades ago. After the sudden passings of three family members, villagers claim to hear sounds emanating from the place at night. Rumors of dark magic cast in the area also make these grounds forbidden. As he's exploring them anyway, he captures a shadow figure walking off. He walks after him but doesn't see anyone. Later, he hears crying. When he opens the door, he finds this holy terror. Can he escape it, or will this sound always be with him? I think this is the type of event that buries deep in the psyche. Number 12 YouTube Team Ghost Theory is returning to this haunted location for the third time. Their first attempt at capturing footage of solo challenges was corrupted. On this occasion, they are again prevented from attempting the solo challenges by the immediate paranormal activity that unfolds in this real-time footage. As they enter, they hear quiet movement in the haunted place. Just as they conclude that it must be branches hitting the house, they hear this. <laughs> Was that human or spirit? As they debate what it was, they're snapped back to reality. But he's just run out of the fucking door. Okay. They break out their K2 meter and get a sharp reading. Don't want to go. <laughs> Where the coffin is. K2. Nothing has moved. Apart from you, actually. Nope. You're back where you are, and it's still going off. They search the house and the grounds for the person or being, and although they don't get a visual, you feel that someone or something is there. I like slowly Jesus Christ. That's come from the th over here. As they check every nook and cranny of the place, they hear this. Fuck. What the f***? Radio. Sorry for the camera work, guys. Yeah. What the f*** is that? I don't like that. It's like a radio. 
No one's gonna go see it. I give these guys credit for sticking out this investigation after all they've witnessed here. I would have been out of there in the first five minutes. It truly seems that something escaped shortly after they entered, and I'm not sure if it was human, animal, or demon. Number 11. A custodian calmly takes the elevator down to his workplace destination. Moments after he gets off, something appears to briefly dance overhead in the area where he was just standing. It could just be the blurry close-up image of a bug running across the camera lens, but it's weird how the round black mass slowly wanders over to where the buttons are located, almost like a real passenger would. It then somehow seems to blend in with the shadows against the door, which makes me think that this may not be an insect after all. Look at this part and tell me what you see going on here. What's about to do? After a while, things calm down, and nothing moves across the screen again for another full minute before the video ends, leaving me with the impression that this was a quick paranormal incident. Number 10 A ghost keeps slamming this closet door according to Kevin Summer. It happened while doing housework, so he puts a camera on a shelf and waits. At 1 minute and 52 seconds, the whole closet is shown. It's a small area crammed with items and no one is hiding inside. This creepy event was scary enough to make him no longer want to live there and put the house up for sale, Kevin says. Do you believe this was paranormal? I think I might. Number 9 the Franklin County Old Jail, which was established in 1818, is widely known for being extremely haunted and usually, it seems that whoever dares to enter finds themselves getting more than they bargained for. A YouTube channel named Paranormal Purgatory decided to venture down into the jail themselves to have a look around the place. The jail is eerily decrepit and worn down, something you'd expect from a 200-year-old building, but just because it's worn down, doesn't mean that the place remains uninhabited. Look at that. Let's get real. You see the old rocking horse in there? No, what I see. Go in there. No, what I see. Go in there. No, what I see. Go in there. Did you hear that? I heard that too. It's in the whistle. So next to the bed here, I do kind of see what they're talking about here. If you just focus on the bed, there appears to be just kind of this shadow and then it almost seems to take off to the right here. Old rocking horse in there? No, what I see. Go in there. No, what I see. Go in there. No, what I see. Go in there. Did you hear that? All oh, right, there. Okay, I, I now see exactly what they're talking about. So there's going to be a flash of light. So it looks like it's like a head and kind of a torso, and there's that flash of light, and then it looks like it just sort of pops right up. It happens so quickly. I should play this in slow motion. Mm -hmm right here don't you see that and then it just pops right up just in the, the split second that it's shown in the light even though the crew behind the channel had only just started to look around the jail little did they know that they didn't need to look any further for signs of paranormal life as you can make out what appears to be some sort of shadow figure right next to the bed which vanishes just as quick as it appears during the rest of the video, the crew explores the remaining areas of the jail but are ultimately unable to find any other signs of paranormal activity. Even still though, seeing this shadow figure in person during an investigation would be enough to terrify anybody. Number 8 this family is living with paranormal activity, and this short clip shared by YouTube channel Paranormal Encounters Shorts is just a taste of what they're experiencing. Listen closely. What? Uh, uh. <laughs> what? Uh, what was she saying? <gasps> oh, no, stop. I stop. Okay, let me get to Stop! The really? Oh my god. One of the crew thinks he knows what it is. It's silverware. Okay, my my what? my hair just jumped on the shit. What? What? Just wait a second. 
Are you recording right now? Yeah, I am. Did you get that? Yeah. Was it silverware? And if it was, who is clattering it? What? Oh, oh. <laughs> what? Is Whoever is banging around this haunted home sounds dreadfully impatient to me. I think it might be time to get this home blast. Number 7 When you venture onto the grounds of a former battlefield, take note, it's likely haunted. The YouTuber explains that he and his family were vacationing in Washington, D.C. When they visited the Manassas battlefield, the battle resulted in a large number of passings. Needless to say, this is a place worth haunting, and apparently this YouTuber has got the goods. He writes, We videotaped there, and later that day we were watching the tape and we noticed the woman, dressed in white, walking along the fence line. There were no reenactments going on that day, and we didn't see her there. They note that the ghost is walking away from the graves of Mrs. Henry, her daughter, and her son and into a field near the black fence to the left of the house. The Henry house stands on the plateau of the hill on which the battle took place. Judith Carter Henry was bedridden and couldn't leave the house at the time of the battle. A projectile burst through the bedroom wall and took her life. Could this lady in white be Judith? You decide. Number 6 The adventurer Abdullah Al Anbar heads to the Devil's House of Evil Horror, an abandoned house somewhere in Saudi Arabia that's haunted by a poltergeist, or also known as a jinn. It doesn't take the explorer very long to discover how the house got its nickname. Whatever is in here is beyond creepy. Much to his surprise, every door opens at the same time. It's like he's being invited inside. We all saw the door slam by itself, but I bet you didn't see this elusive shadow person crouch out of sight when he first enters at 5 minutes and 10 seconds. His flashlight begins to flicker as paranormal energy gathers all around. He can sense something malevolent is near. The door is slamming repeatedly by itself. No one is hiding on the other side. That's when the jinn tries to keep him here forever. Heavy footsteps follow him down the stairs as he bolts from the house of evil. I'd say the house lived up to its name that night based on his paranormal evidence. Number 5 the David Livingstone Center is a reportedly haunted museum in Glasgow, Scotland. As these paranormal investigators are about to discover for themselves, they aren't even finished setting up their equipment when the poltergeist activity begins. First, something falls in the darkness, and then a piece of equipment flips over in front of them. They go to where the other object fell over and find one of the velvet ropes has come unhooked by itself. Since we didn't see it happen on video though, I guess we just have to take their word. Later, they head over to the chapel area where they think they see something move, but it's too dark to tell. As if it's a person? Yeah. Is she injured? When they take a picture of the corner of the chapel, however, this image of a shadow person is what they find. 
Number 4 Translated from Portuguese, the video's title, The Bride of the Train Line, gives us some inclination of what fears to expect. Published to YouTube by Ravana in July of 2017, a group of adventure seekers are wandering down a train track at night. For a long while, they walk without encountering anything unusual. In the darkness, there's no one for miles around. City lights twinkle in the distance, but the group appears to be far from town. As they walk and chat carelessly along the train tracks, the camera pans to the side for a moment, where it captures this figure in white. Nossa, my... <laughs> Terrified screaming ensues as the men turn to run back the way they came. The bride figure 2 appears to race away from the tracks, presumably back to her haunted wedding. Does this deter you from jumping trains at night? If not, then you might be next in line to catch the ghostly bridal bouquet. Number 3 what lurks in your alley in the middle of the night? This video may surprise you. Published to YouTube by Taslock in March of 2021, the security footage was recorded on the 30th of December 2020 at around 4 in the morning. An empty road with a few motorcycles and bicycles parked along each side still in the darkness, at least for the moment. Suddenly, someone invisible decides to take this bike out for a spin. The motorcycle abruptly pulls out into the road, turning in place. At one point, it slows in its turning, then jerks forward and continues in its path before falling over on the side in the middle of the road. Could this just be something mechanical malfunctioning in the bike? Or did a ghost realize he didn't have enough momentum mid-launch? Number 2 the ancient Ram Inn in England's Watton Under Edge is infamous for its devil worship and ritual sacrifice. YouTube team Ghost Raiders dives in to see if they can uncover any of this residual dark magic. Using paranormal devices, they try and get the spirits to communicate with them. Can you make the K2 reader go off. Well, got a cat ball going off. The spirit seems to be playing around. In another stony room of the inn, there appears to be a demon face escaping the stone. There. There is a face, or what looks like a face, but it is just obviously how the bricks and soot, I would imagine, have sutted up the wall. But yeah, it just looked like a face. It makes you wonder how such a face formed. Later, while using the Estes method, Holly feels unsettled. Feel from the mask, like pressure around my that physically being moved. During a ritual ceremony to free her from her demon, she becomes overwhelmed with emotion. <laughs> Jesus, here she goes. It's a lot of spiritual energy. <laughs> It seems to me that a spirit somehow entered Holly through the Estes method, only to be released through this ritual, and the feeling and release of the incident looks incredibly painful. Would you stick around here? I've seen enough horror movies to know that it's best to get out before it's too late. What's scariest about this image is the ghostly figure it showcases. I'll be seeing this in my nightmares tonight. This image is currently trending in the Spanish-speaking YouTube community. I came across it on a popular YouTube channel that creates content in this language, and I wanted to share it with you. It's a great example of how unique elements of horror can be found all around the world, each with its own twist. So what do you think it is? And more importantly? Do you think it's real or just a clever effect? Let me know down in the comments. I 
I've got a challenge for you. Since you've made it this far, why not like this video and hit subscribe in the next five seconds? Because I upload four new scary videos every week. If you're curious about what I look like in real life, then go to my Instagram at DylanIsChillinYT and tap that follow button to find out. Number 1 who is standing on the side of this road? While driving at night, paranoiacs captured this obscure figure standing there in the darkness. When they back up a moment later, the figure is gone. Where did she go? I think it's probably for the best that she disappeared. This is one hitchhiker you really shouldn't pick up.